This is the disinfectant that we use on the chicken or the birds in the farmhouse. Yeah, as you can, it's a strong, it's an effective one. It's called Noro Cleanse, and we spray uh, twice or thrice a week, depending on the condition, on the condition of the chicken. If they if they've been experiencing problems, maybe they've been getting sick more. Uh, we increase the uh, number of times that the place is disinfected, but mostly it's twice or thrice in a week. For general disinfection, this is the uh, the disinfectant that we use. Actually, this thing sometimes, this one sometimes goes out of market. I don't know if someone has experienced the same with us. There was some time ago we were looking for it. We couldn't find it anywhere. So sometimes it's just, it's tricky. This one, we, we mix it with water and put it at the entry points. Like now this one, this is at the gate as you can see. So this one, this is the disinfecting uh, pool. So once you enter at the gate, you, you put your feet in the disinfectant. Then as you enter the chicken house, we also have it mixed here. Although this one is a bit dirty now, we are going to empty it and, and put some more. the supplements that we give to the chicks we mix it with the water and give them to help the chicks uh, to grow well and uh, you know a nutritional supplement you know? this is like a medicine this is medicine that is also mixed in water and you give it to the chicks to prevent the chicks from uh, getting certain bacteria and infections as you can see on the indications. So that is, that's the one that we give to the chicks. So we are trying our best to see if this batch uh, becomes more productive as, as it continues to grow. So our main agenda today, we have someone coming to teach us about producing our own uh, our homemade worms for the chicken in order to supplement the feeds. We are trying our best to do it the most organic way that we can and see if the production the egg production will improve and the overall health of the of the poultry. So right now, let me show you what we are doing. So we are preparing these uh, troughs. We are preparing these traps that we are going to use to mix the uh, the worms. I don't even know how it will look like, but I'm waiting for the teacher to come and teach us. So first step is preparation of the traps, as advised by the teacher. <laughs> Second thing, this net. So I brought these uh, these nets. So I'll also wait and see uh, the use of the nets.
Hizi bado ina move. Nakaa na hiyo song after a few days mm. itakuwa dormant kabisa. Mm-hmm. Imekuwa hard. So hii imekuwa dormant. Like, okay. So hii hi, bado imebakia bado. So iko almost sasa. Hii sasa isongi. Oh, yeah, isongi. Mm-hmm. Uh, so ki, ikifikia kuwa dormant kabisa, mm. sasa hiyo ndio time yenye inaingia kwa kije yenye tutatengeneza ila neti. Mm. So hizi zinaelekezi kwa it days old. Mm so zikifika 10 days mm. ziko a bit bigger but mm. bado ziko white mm. so 10 to 14 hapo mm. ndipo tu atakuwa na na harvest na feed kuku then una una harvest kiasi unapea kuku but zingine unaacha zienda another cycle yeah, okay. uh. 10% of what you harvest mm. inaenda the next, next cycle hizi zingine oh. unapea tu kuku mm. eh.